Welcome to episode one of Entrepreneur Talk. EntrepreneurTalk.ca. And my name is Harpreet Sandhu. So let's get into it. Let's start with what is Entrepreneur Talk? Who am I? <laughs> so this is going to be my new podcast, Entrepreneur Talk. And the whole idea here is to highlight entrepreneurs, hear from entrepreneurs, successful, but unsuccessful as well. I want to hear from the people that have tried things, they've failed, they've tried again, it didn't work out before they became an overnight success. And that's what Entrepreneur Talk is going to be all about, sharing stories, hearing from folks, and not about me, right? And this first one is going to be an intro episode. And then as time goes on, I think I'll do some solo episodes as well, where I can share things, highlight things, or just, you know, teach, teach everyone something, right? Talk about something that's happening in the world. But entrepreneur talk, it's going to be a space to hear from others. So if you are listening to this podcast and you're in the greater Toronto area, anywhere actually, we can do this virtually as well. So we have the ability to have guests virtually where we can have really crisp audio, crisp video. That's what I'm all about. So I hope this sounds really good. I hope this looks really good, depending on where you are. So if you're watching this on YouTube, or you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, or Apple Podcasts on Stitcher, whatever it is, well, give me some feedback, right? You can find me on Instagram, sold by harp but that's what entrepreneur talk just a little gist of it that's what this is about i want it to be a space to eventually grow so that's why i named it entrepreneurtalk.ca so that's the instagram handle but there will be a companion website the website's not just going to be for the podcast but a place for resources a place for other content and maybe in the future you know this can turn it we don't know right this could be there could be events, in-person events, in-person podcasts or interviews of, of notable people. So we'll, we'll really see where this goes, but I'm excited. I'm excited about this. This is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time, and we're finally doing it. It's not my first podcast. You know, I did have, I did start a podcast before, but, you know, that was pre-pandemic, right? We won't even get into all that. We're bringing it back, and we're and I don't. I didn't feel like podcasts were even a big thing then. But in 2023, today's what January 16th, 2023, podcasts are going to be 2023. So I think like 2022 was TikTok. 2023, I think, is going to be a podcast. So if you're listening and you want to start a podcast, let me tell you, just do it. Just do it. Just start. Just pick up your phone, if anything, and put on your AirPods or whatever, record right into your phone. Start somewhere. There's lots of free resources, but we'll talk more about that as well. And then the next thing is, well, who am I? Who is this guy? Why should I be the guy talking about entrepreneurship, entrepreneur talk? So my name, Harpreet Sandhu. So if you don't know me, well, that's who I am, but I'm going to assume if you're listening to the very first episode pretty in January 2023 that you know who I am, right? You've connected with me on social media. You know me from IRL in real life, but this is something I'm passionate about, right? I've tried many different things over the years. I studied entrepreneurship and strategy at the Ted Rogers School of Management. I've had my own startups. I've worked with startups. I've consulted and talked to hundreds of entrepreneurs and helped them with their businesses from a business perspective or from a marketing and strategy perspective. So this is going to be that that place where I can bring everything together. And and most recently I was teaching a course at Humber College that was real estate entrepreneurship. And so entrepreneurship is everywhere. But the thing is, what what I was taught what entrepreneurship is from a theoretical perspective 
and what it's perceived to be by everyone. I think there is a disconnect. So with this podcast, it's going to be interesting to get everyone's perspectives and takes on entrepreneurship. You know, a lot of people I see in their bios, they have serial entrepreneur. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? What is a serial entrepreneur? And then what do I do? So let's talk about the diff- who am I? So as an entrepreneur, I, there's many things that I do, but it's really the many different passions I have, the different things that I'm chasing. So the bread and butter, as you know, is real estate. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know me from social media, sold by Harp. That's me. And I've been on the platform for 10 years now, at least talking about real estate. So on Instagram. And at that time, I remember I was like, okay, I'm going to start. And I started typing people into Instagram, looking them up. You know, the, the big real estate agents in the area. I started looking them. Nobody was on Instagram at that time. So I started early. I started early. And even the first deals I had done, you know, they came from social media. I leveraged social media early in my career, you know, Twitter, Facebook, just to connect with people. And that's what social media allows is us to connect with people. So that's my bread and butter real estate here in the greater Toronto area. This is not a pitch, but yeah, if you're looking to buy or sell, (laughs) send me a message. then what else do I do? So with that, open the doors for many different things along the way. But marketing has something I've been doing for a long time. And I, I was thinking, I was reflecting the other day, looking back, before selling real estate, I was working for this company where I was selling websites. Like I had completely almost forgot, but there was this company, I, I think I found them on Craigslist or Kijiji at the time. So this is like early or like 2010s or something, 2011 maybe, but selling websites. So that's where this kind of professional marketing media started. But I've been, you know, in the marketing space, I've been in the marketing space for a long time talking to entrepreneurs, doing my own thing, my own startups. And then the media came with it as well, right? Learning how to use a camera, becoming a photographer, becoming a videographer, cinematographer. So learning those skills was important along the way. And it wasn't that, oh, I just want to, I want to learn photography. There was a little bit of that. You know, I got my first DSLR. I remember I went to Yorkdale. It was a camera store forgot the camera store was maybe maybe henry's i don't know i bought a nikon and that's that kind of started all that but i was taking pictures before that on point and shoots right i had a camcorder before that so i've been chasing media for a long time and digital media for a very very long time you know i probably learned photoshop in 2000 and maybe six or seven so that was that was a long time ago when i learned photoshop 2006 2007 learn how to use Dreamweaver. So if you're familiar with that, you know, building websites using Dreamweaver. And, you know, if we back it up, you know, it's like building websites on GeoCity, being fascinated by HTML code. So that has been a passion of mine for a long time, the media side of it. But when I learned that you can connect this media stuff with social media, and there's this world of marketing, and you know, in business school, learning about marketing from, you know, a theoretical perspective, but then actually doing it, actually doing it for different organizations, running my own events, running events for organizations, getting people in the door, selling a product, raising money, whatever it was, you know, it was, there was a lot along the way where there was opportunities to try things. And that is the essence, I think, of entrepreneurship the mindset that you have that you continue to try things. So that's a little bit about me on the marketing side. So now I have, I've set it up as a marketing company. So HS Media, and you know, I've been working with other professionals for a number of years. But now 2023, I'm putting it out there, we're gonna we're gonna go big with it. 
we're going to chase clients, we're going to do the entrepreneurship stuff that everyone talks about. So real estate is, is going to be the bread and butter. And that I'm expanding as well. So I've had my team and we're going to be rebuilding that the HSR team. We'll see where that goes. You know, there's, there's plans along the way. And I think the podcast will be able to document that as well for me. And then we'll have the media company, media, comp- media marketing company, full creative agency can do it. Whatever you need from photography, video, websites, paid advertisements, setting up funnels. If you don't know what funnels is, we can talk about that. And down to just strategy. Does your business have a strategy to get new clients and customers in the door? And you'd be surprised. Many people don't. So that is another thing. And then another facet of what I do is in the education world. So I've been teaching at Humber College or what we call facilitation. That has been very exciting. So real estate related courses. And what else do I do? So e-commerce is something that we picked up a couple years, not a couple, almost five years ago, six years ago. Um, so not not just Amazon, FBA, drop shipping, but you know, having a having your own label, building a brand, and e-commerce is another area. It, this falls back into the marketing company where we can consult on e-commerce. So everything from managing your inventory, creating systems around inventory, how do you create systems to accept credit card payments, et cetera. So all of that e-commerce is, is a whole other world. And I think it's gonna be exciting to get some e-commerce entrepreneurs on here. E-commerce has so many things, right? There's people selling digital products, there's people selling digital courses, physical products, drop shipping the product, creating their own product. So th- that's very interesting. I have some friends in that space as well who are leveraging platforms like Etsy and other platforms to, to f- sell their digital goods. That, that, that's me in a nutshell, right? So then there's all like the personal stuff that I'm into, cars and fixing things and tools, <laughs> Milwaukee tools, if you know me, if you follow me on, ins- on Instagram. But that, that, that's really it. So those are the main things. And in the education space, I'm going to be creating my own courses as well. There's, there's a few in the works already. I'm very excited about that to be able to share the knowledge I have on in a digital product that you can take at your own leisure. So uh, around real estate, around marketing, around e-commerce. So we'll be rolling those out as well. But yeah, that's me. That's me. That's the podcast entrepreneur talk and the media company. So let's talk about podcasting. Once again, I've been listening to podcasts for a very long time. I've been, it was like back in the day with the Blackberry and an iPod, like an iPod touch, I think I would have to listen to the podcast on iPod touch and the Apple ecosystem wasn't there fully at the time, I think. I think you have to use like an app, Stitcher maybe, or something else. But I've been listening to podcasts for a while. You know, Tim Ferriss, Joe Rogan. Those are like the bigger podcasts. But then there's a lot of smaller podcasts I've been listening to along the way. And I believe in 2023, podcasts are the way forward for your personal brand, for your business, for anything you're doing, having conversation and being able to use that as marketing. So it's really easy. A lot of people, they get frustrated that creating content is hard. Coming up with ideas is hard. And that's where I believe podcasting comes in. If you can have a podcast where it's maybe just you talking, 30 minute episodes, 20 minute episodes, like I've, I listen to one podcast, you have 10 minute episodes, like once a week or what, whatever it is. So, but this format, I think is, it's very easy to create content once you have it set up. Now I have a very elaborate setup. We have all the equipment and, and everything going on here, but you don't need all this. You could, you could simply do this with the microphone that you have. So 
I'd encourage everyone to consider podcasting. And now you're like, what am I going to talk about? There's a lot of podcasts where it's just friends having conversations. You don't have to monetize it. I don't know how I'm going to monetize this. Entrepreneur talk, we'll figure it out, right? If we need to monetize it at all. But because I'm such a big believer in podcasts and podcasting in 2023, I've invested in the equipment. I've invested in the setup. And through the media company, HS Media will offer a number of podcasting solutions to entrepreneurs and business owners across the GTA and even consulting on podcasting. So what equipment do you, if you're going to, if you think you're going to go all in and you want to buy your own equipment, I can help you with that. But we can pack all this up, bring it to you. Multi, this is just a one camera setup. It's just me, but we can do multiple cameras, live editing, audio engineer, bring the lighting, bring everything to you. And you run your podcast so we can make it that simple. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of the editing. We'll take care of everything. All you need to do is show up and maybe book your own guests. So if you're interested in that, hit me up, right? Soul by Harp. That's probably the best place to connect with me or HS Media Entrepreneur Talk. But yeah, like reach out. If, if you're thinking of starting a podcast, reach out. There's a number of things that I can give you some tips on it. but as an entrepreneur, I could sell you this service as well. Complete end to end solution, where all you need to do is show up, talk, have some ideas, have fun, and we'll take care of everything else. So I've take, we figured it out. How, how do you get the podcast on Spotify? How do you get it on to Apple? How do you get it everywhere? How do you get it on iHeartRadio? Figured all of that out. We figured out how to sync it with the audio, figured out the processing so it sounds real crisp, figured out the arm, what's the best way to mount it, figured out the lighting. So you don't have to worry about that. All of that's been figured out for you. All you need to do is show up and have a conversation, have fun. So if you're, you're in any industry, you're in mortgages, you're in real estate, you're you're selling a widget, you're manufacturing a widget, whatever your business is, you're in e-commerce, start a podcast, have a conversation. And then you can clip that up, use it as content. And if you don't know how to do that, we can do that for you. So the full package will come to you, we'll record the episode, we'll edit the episode. So you have the full length video that you can put onto YouTube and all the other platforms. And then we'll create clips for you with all the fancy captions that you see everywhere on social or or whatever you like and we'll take care of everything so that is something i want to put out there with this first episode if you're listening and you're thinking of starting a podcast which i highly encourage that you do consider creating your own podcast we can help you with that or even if you just want to have like these cool videos where it looks like you're on podcast but at that point, you might as well have a podcast. So keep that in mind. And finally, if you want to be a guest, so if you're listening to this podcast, you want to be a guest, reach out to me or directly on Instagram and we can set that up. The way I see this podcast is I'm going to come to you. I'm going to bring everything to you. I want to interview you in your space, maybe get a tour of the space. I think that'll be really cool. I want to. I want to interview people in construction. Imagine this setup on a construction site or somebody in manufacturing, in this in their manufacturing facility with all the work going on behind it and us having a conversation with an entrepreneur and seeing what they've created. So if you want to be a guest on this podcast, you want to share your story, reach out to me and uh, we'll definitely set that up. But also, if you're not in the greater Toronto area, we could do this virtually as well. So which is really cool. And we can also help you set up a virtual podcast. Then finally, you can listen to this everywhere. So you can listen to this on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. It's going to be on YouTube. You'll find the clips on Instagram. So follow the Instagram account for this entrepreneurtalk.ca. 
So follow the Instagram account. Let me know what you think. How is this sounding? Where are you listening? Let me know. How does this sound in your car? How does it sound in your headphones? Definitely would love to get some feedback. But this is the first episode. I just wanted to be a little intro. We're about 20 minutes in. That's it. And if we talk about entrepreneurship and and any skill, even with podcasting, I think it's being consistent. So I'd encourage you to find the little things that you can do within your day, within your business, but do it consistently. Even if it's your personal life, it's like working out. Be consistent, commit to something. So if you can't work out for two hours every day, can you do 20? Be consistent. But consistency is what gives you results over time. And the same thing with podcasts. So if you're thinking of doing this, I'd encourage you, pick up your phone, open the audio recorder, record something, put it out there, be consistent though. And I will do the same. So with this podcast, I will try to be consistent. So not sure, maybe once a week would be cool, but maybe a little more realistic once every other week. We'll see how this goes, but we'll get into a flow. We'll get the guests in. There's already a number of people I'm talking to, and I'm excited. I'm excited, so please send me a message. There's no sponsors. I'm the sponsor, so sold by Harp. That's on Instagram, S-O-L-D-B-Y-H-A-R-P. That is me, sold by Harp, Harpreet Sandhu, real estate broker here in the GTA, entrepreneurs. I got my social media company, HS Media. We can help you with anything, the digital space. So if you're thinking of starting a business, you have a business, reach out. We can definitely set up a consultation or a phone call. And that is it. That is it for episode number one of entrepreneurtalk.ca. Let me know how this sounds. Until next time.